folks, they didn't hit me with hate speech. Now, you all know, back in the days when I did videos, they used to cut my videos short. They used to cut the videos short. You know what I'm saying? And, um, uh, while I'm doing my videos, you lose half of what I'm saying. And if anybody knows me, they know I ran it and I raved. And then I told them the story. And when I look back at those videos, I'm stopping in mid sentence. So they're taking everything I said and it's being misconstrued on purpose. I really do. I think this is on purpose. Why would they do that to me? Because I was actually motivating people. Literally motivating people. But they took that from you by not letting you see the whole video. And a whole bunch of times I complained in videos about my videos being cut off because the people who had to monitor my videos was probably not liking the fact that this black guy is bold enough to say what he was saying. Do you understand? Do you really understand? I don't think you do. So, these people successfully made me look stupid. Because everything I said in that video was misconstrued. Because if you don't let the end of the video come out, everything else has been lost. Because I talk a lot of shit in the beginning. And I tell you an end. Somebody had mailed me a letter. And the letter said that, you know, white people were going to come, you know, start a race war, take out black people and Mexicans and all that. I commented on the letter. And I put the letter in the descriptions. Now... If 1,100 people liked the video, you know, watched it, you know, 200 of them, 100 uh, some of them commented, uh, you know, not 100 comments, but uh, 100 likes, it was four dislikes. Four dislikes. And they hit me for hate speech. Now here's the kicker. Now part one of the video went all the way through. You know, not all of no, them. Part one of the video was cut off. And back in those days, when they cut my video off, I'd get mad, you know, and flip out. Cuss people out and stuff. So that's exactly what happened. So I'm assuming part two of the video is... If you really hate black people that much or whatever, I probably said some statements. I probably said a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Yeah. So, you know, it is what it is. So I want you to go back, all my fans. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not fanatics. All of my fam. And look at those videos where I was cut off. Where my voice just stopped and the video froze. That's how they got me for hate speech. They cut me off when I said something. Because looking at the video I looked at, the last thing I said is, White people will kill white people to better white people. And I'm pretty sure I went on to say, and black people will kill black people to better black people. And so on and so forth. But they don't let your message come out. 
we read the description, I'm flaming mad, I'm angry at white people. You watch the video and you can tell I was about to explain. Why would somebody send me this letter? You know. Sad. So, I've been misconstrued. So what I'm going to do is take those videos and get rid of them. Because, if you know, I'm trying to talk for 10 minutes and the video go for 7 minutes or the video go for 8 minutes. You know, I'm not going to, you know, take the bullet on that one. You know, everybody looks for an excuse. And I'm not trying to give these idiots any excuses. You know, an excuse. They've taken down Wise Nubian, he's come back. They took down J Rider 4, he came back. They took down, uh, shit, uh, what's this guy? They took down um, Trash Man 416 times, and he still come back. And I've been hearing the same name. So I'm not trying to get thrown out of here on some humbug just because these fools set me up back in the day to look mad. I ain't mad at you. I just know what you did to put me in this position. Try to make me look angry. It's bad enough my glasses broke. Broke down? I can always wear them like LeBron now. But I did that in junior high school. I did that as a little kid. Well, I wasted six minutes of you guys' time trying to explain myself and understanding. You know, it took them that long to come back and say that was hate speech. Well, of course it's hate speech. If you send somebody something hateful and not expect him to comment on it, and then when you fix it so he can't comment on it, boy, that's in 3D, huh? You like that 3D? I got it on it. You fix it so. You know, the guy can't comment on it, and then he looks like a buffoon, a straight fool. You know, can't do that. Hey, anybody know what happens when um your legs hurt? My damn legs hurt right there, right there. My thigh, my thigh, both of them just painful, painful thigh pain. Oh, what's this? Anybody, anybody got a? It used to be numb, and I lay a certain way, my thigh, my thigh be numb, and then now it's pain. Anybody know what that is? I have to go make a doctor's appointment. My wife been telling me to go make a doctor's appointment for about a week now. I don't know why I haven't, but um, I need to hurry up and do that. I'm getting too old for that. I know. That's sad. You guys might see my new, my new computer, folks. It's Dell. Dell computer. Oh, got my crotch, man. Got the crotch. It's a Dell. So. Fucked up cameraman. I up in the crotch and shit. I have to practice my my skills. This is the patented camera. I made this camera back in the day when um, we used to talk with old Soul and Black. You know, I call this the stick cam. Oop! I need to get a USB extender so I can go a little bit further. But uh, you know, the stick cam still works, folks. Uh, this is the only computer I had in a long time without a, um, you know, without a camera on it. But um, the stick cam is an ultimate. Necessity for those who want to do their self videos. It's Adele, it's Adele, folks. Adele, Adele. Stick cam going with my hand. Whoa, <laughs> that stick cam. Can I get on it? Can I get on Oh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, the table's in the way. Here you go. Yeah. Pretty good. I took the rope off the uh, rock. I have a shoulder strap on it. So I can wear it. And put the, you put the, the end of the thing in your pocket and you walk around. 
I gotta figure out how to get me a mini USB or something. I can hook it up to my cell phone or something. That would be tight. So, um, folks, I've been wasting 10 minutes of your time playing with my camera, telling you about how they got me with hate speech, and, you know, I ain't trying to hate on nobody. Well, when I first started on this YouTube, the only way I would say something that was negative or hateful is when somebody would send me, um, you know, some hateful mail or, you know, death threats and we're gonna kill you nigger shit, you know. That, you know, was the only time I ever said something negative about somebody or two other people. Let me see what happens if I take this off. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. I can take this off and then show you one more camera trick because I can do it. Yeah, I can do it. I got moves like Lonzo. Moves like Lonzo. Alright. Let's see if I got this right here. Oh, man. Oh, I don't want to hurt nothing. Oh, here, there you go. Hmm. One small step for mankind. One large step. Black Dynamite. So y'all folks watch that new show Black Dynamite? I've watched a couple episodes of Black Dynamite and I must say I don't think the people that write that show are black. I don't. Because Black Dynamite would be more respectful to black people than that. I would personally think that a character named Black Dynamite would have more respect for black people. Uh, well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Black Dynamite is supposed to be protecting the black kids at the orphanage. You know, uh, black exploitation. Uh, the black guy in black exploitation movies, you know, a lot of them wanted to take people out of the hood and save the people in the hood. Not all of them was about the pimps and the hoes. Can remember that. You know what I'm saying? There was a lot of pimps and hoes in those movies, but it wasn't about the pimps and the hoes all the time, every time. You understand what I'm saying? So, I'm just really tripping off this hate speech thing. Because, like I said, when I went back and looked at that video, and I could see that these people had clearly cut the video short, I'm like, you know what? That's what you do. That's what you do when you want to make somebody look like they did. You want to guide somebody into a direction in which you know he's not trying to go into. And that was wrong. I just want to say, shame on you, YouTube. Because now i got to go back in every one of those videos I did, where my voice was cut off during the middle of the video, I'm taking it off because it's going to be misconstrued as hate speech. You know, it is. You know, and that's pretty sad. Because I don't hate nobody. I ain't got no hate for nobody. I know the truth about these clowns. And I know they've been lied to. They're the original suckers. The marks. The fools. They was duped. Duped. I tell you, duped. Oh, and I have a pop quiz for kids out there. What is this, kids? Do you, any kid out there know what this is? Give up. This is the original this you've been tubed <laughs>